Time now for the five facts. At number five, aspiring chefs from 13 high schools across the state will be in Santa Fe today for a culinary competition. The competition will focus on restaurant management and various culinary skills. First place winners will earn scholarship money and a chance to compete nationally in Washington, D.C. The event is sponsored by New Mexico Pro Start, which is a career education program focusing on culinary arts. The competition gets cooking at 8.30 this morning. At number four, new Albuquerque police video shows the moment that an accused drunk driver thought that he could escape during a traffic stop. It was late 9 February when police pulled over Benjamin Olguin's car near I-40 and 12th Street. Officers knew that uh, before they knew it, they say that he took off and they ended up chasing him to an area near Old Town. They say they found a number of al uh, bottles of alcohol in his car and arrested him. Police say that he admitted to drinking earlier in the night but refused a breathalyzer test. And at number three, we're drying up all that rain from yesterday. Moving off to the east, we're waking up with clear conditions aside from some patchy fog. And number two, new details from a couple living near Central and Louisiana calling 911 after they say a drunk driver left a trail of destruction on their block. Officers say that 38-year-old Ryan Rafael crashed into a parked car. They say they found multiple open 32-ounce beer cans in the vehicle. They asked him if he wanted to take a sobriety test, but without a clear yes, they placed him under arrest for DWI. And at number one, New Mexico still does not have any confirmed cases of the coronavirus. But starting today, the health, state health department will activate its operations center, helping top state officials make decisions on how to deal with the virus-related issues. Health officials say just yesterday, 50, 57 New Mexicans were tested for coronavirus. All of those results came back negative.